In this video, you will learn 11 plus math topic, Algebra Introduction, Part 1. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to master 11 plus exam techniques to land in your dream grammar school, start right now by subscribing and clicking on the bell so you don't miss anything. So let's start with a comparison between arithmetic and algebra. So in arithmetic, we have 2 plus 3 equals blank. And in algebra, we have 2 plus 3 equals x. So in arithmetic, the blank is where the unknown is. And in algebra, the x is a placeholder for the unknown. In other words, the x is where the unknown is. So now also in algebra, instead of the x, any alphabet can be used. But commonly, x is the one that has been used. So instead of the x, you can add y, z, but x is the common one. So we know that 2 plus 3 in the arithmetic will be 5. So the answer is obviously 5 in the arithmetic. The answer in the algebra will also be 5, but you don't write it just as 5. You write it as x equals 5. You write it as x equals 5 because in the question it says 2 plus 3 equals x. So whatever you find as the answer is basically x. And 2 plus 3 will be 5, and 5 is x, so you write it as x equals 5. So now let's have a look at these two examples, which is x minus 2 equals 3 and 3 plus 2 equals x. If you notice, they're both the same. And if you're wondering why they're the same, because one of them is x minus 2 equals 3 and the other one is 3 plus 2 equals x. Well, they're the same because they just rearranged. x minus 2 equals 3 is the same as 3 plus 2 equals x, but the equation for both of them is rearranged so they look different. So now, let's see how symbols can be used. So x or any other symbols can stand for different numbers in different problems. And that's okay. So if x or any other symbols, they can stand for different numbers in different problems. So for example, 5 plus 4 equals x. As we all know, 5 plus 4 is going to be 9. And as we said before, when you're writing an algebra, you need to write it as x equals 9. So now let's have a look at another example, which is 3 plus x equals 7. And 3 plus x equals 7, we all know that x will be 4, because 3 plus 4 equals 7. So as we said before, x or any other symbol, if they have different values in different problems, then it's OK. And as you guys could see, in this example, we have two x's, and they have different values in different problems. But if x or any other symbol represents different numbers in the same problem, then it's not OK. So if x or any other symbol represent different numbers in the same problem, then that's not right. For example, if x represents both 9 and 4 in the same problem, that is not right. So right here we have x plus x equals 16. So with this example, you have a lot of combination for adding two numbers that will equal 16. So for example, you can have 9 plus 7, which equals 16. But if you really notice 9 plus 7 equals 16, you could see that one value is x equals 9 and the other one is x equals 7. So you have 9 as a value for an x and you have 7 as a value for the other x. So in this case, x has two different values. It has both 9 and 7 as its value in the same problem. And as we said before, this is not right. So if you do want to add 16 with two different numbers instead of the same, you don't use the two same symbols, you use two different symbols. So rather than the x plus x, you will instead write it as x plus y because they both do different symbols, so this means they both represent two different numbers. So x plus y equals 16. Now to learn more on 11 plus maps, click the video on the right. And to learn the previous topic, click the video on the left. So take your pick. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.